Across the federal government, there are over 70 statutory inspector generals whose mission is to independently and objectively combat waste, fraud, and abuse in the programs and operations of their parent agency. To this end, each IG is responsible for conducting audits, inspections, evaluations, and investigations relating to the programs and operations of its agency, and for providing guidance and recommendations. Each IG is also responsible for keeping the agency head and Congress fully and currently informed about relevant problems and efficiencies. All IGs are empowered by and work within the oversight framework set forth in the Inspector General Act of 1978. Hello, I'm Steve Linick, the Inspector General for the U.S. Department of State and Broadcasting Board of Governors. To fulfill its mandate, OIG performs work in countries throughout the world as well as in the department and BBG's domestic facilities. We inspect each of the approximately 270 embassies, diplomatic posts, and international broadcasting installations throughout the world to determine whether policy goals are being achieved and whether the interests of the United States are being represented and advanced effectively. Additionally, OIG performs specialized security inspections and audits in support of the Department's mission to provide effective protection to our personnel, facilities, and sensitive information. OIG also audits the Department and BBG operations and activities to ensure that they are effective, efficient, and economical. The Office of Evaluations and Special Projects is our newest office and it, among other things, reviews allegations of administrative misconduct by senior officials and looks into whistleblower matters. Finally, OIG investigates instances of fraud, waste, and mismanagement that may constitute criminal or civil wrongdoing or violation of department and BBG regulations. We prepare many different kinds of reports that inform the department and BBG, the public, Congress, about the results of our inspections, audits, and evaluations. These reports are found on our public website. Just to give you a sense of the scale of our work, in the last three years, we released more than 400 reports and have identified more than $1 billion in potential monetary benefits. We also periodically issue management alerts, management assistant reports, and information reports, which alert senior department and BBG management to systemic, high-risk issues requiring immediate corrective action without waiting until the end of an audit or inspection. I typically issue management alerts, and assistant inspectors general issue management assistance reports and information reports. I'm Emilia DeSanto, the Deputy Inspector General. To keep Congress informed of both concerns and progress at the Department and BBG, OIG produces two semi-annual reports a year for the six-month periods ending March 31st and September 30th. These semi-annual reports include an overview of our work over the last six months. For example, they summarize each report we have issued and identify particularly important issues such as safety and security concerns, as well as significant costs that we have questioned or funds that may be put to better use. These semi-annual reports also identify our recommendations for corrective action. In addition, we include extensive information regarding our investigative work including matters referred for prosecution or administrative action. We also prepare an annual report that identifies the most significant management challenges facing the department and BBG and how we are working to help the department and BBG address and resolve those challenges. There are several congressional committees with particular interest in the work of state's Office of Inspector General. Key among these are the House and Senate Committees on Government Oversight, Foreign Relations, Appropriations, and Intelligence.